Welcome to the channel. Today, I will describe a short film inspired by Greek mythology. The story revolves around a water siren or witch who is adorned with gold and jewels and is known for her deadly nature, killing anyone who crosses her territory. This particular story is part of a web series titled Love Death Robots, with each episode presenting a unique narrative. The episode we'll focus on is called Hibaro, featuring a witch residing in a river. This witch possesses a captivating power in her voice, compelling everyone to go to any lengths to possess her. The tale begins with a group of soldiers trekking through a dense jungle. Among them is a soldier named Hibaro, who is deaf and unable to hear any sound. One of their comrades instructs everyone to follow him, and they continue their journey accordingly. Eventually, they find a spot near a sizable pond to rest. Hibaro secures his horse to a designated spot and proceeds towards the pond. As he approaches, he discovers a piece of gold in the water. Without hesitation, he seizes it and keeps it with him. Unbeknownst to the others, the pond is inhabited by a witch whose body is covered in gold, diamonds, and jewelry. She remains submerged, observing their every move. Meanwhile, Hibaro senses some movement in the water and swiftly turns to investigate, but he finds nothing there. On the other side, a group of individuals, resembling priests and engaging in dark magic, arrives at the scene. However, at that moment, the witch emerges from the water, commencing a peculiar dance. Suddenly, she lets out a piercing scream. The soldiers are instantly captivated by her voice, succumbing to an intense desire to possess her. The witch continues to dance on the water's surface, shrieking loudly as if tricking everyone to draw closer. Consumed by their fantasy, the soldiers become highly aggressive, focused solely on the witch. They are willing to do anything to obtain her. People begin to attack one another, each striving to claim the witch for themselves. Lives are lost in the chaos that ensues. None of the soldiers remain rational, their sole focus is on the witch. Meanwhile, Hibaro, unaware of his companion's actions due to his hearing impairment, suddenly witnesses the perplexing scene unfolding before him. He struggles to comprehend their irrational behavior. Simultaneously, the soldiers continue to harm one another, relentlessly pursuing the witch, oblivious to the peril they face. Hibaro's gaze locks onto the witch, and fear courses through him upon seeing her. Nevertheless, he remains immune to her voice, as his deafness renders it ineffective. Eventually, all the soldiers meet their demise, drowning in the water, leaving Hibaro as the sole survivor. The witch redirects her attention toward Hibaro, attempting to enchant him with her voice while showcasing her peculiar dance. However, her magic has no effect on Hibaro. The witch is bewildered by the fact that her voice has never spared a man, yet it is different when it comes to Hibaro. Despite her numerous attempts to ensnare Hibaro with her spell, the witch's magic proves ineffective against him. Growing increasingly fearful, she wonders if her powers are diminishing and retreats back into the water. Meanwhile, Hibaro is consumed by terror as he realizes that his entire army has perished, yet he struggles to comprehend the events that have unfolded. Suddenly, the witch resurfaces and fixates on Hibaro, intrigued by his resistance to her charms and eager to understand what sets him apart. An unusual attraction develops within the witch as she desires Hibaro for herself. On the other hand, Hibaro is overwhelmed by fear and desperately seeks to escape as swiftly as possible. He urges his horse forward with determination, but their hasty movement leads to a collision with a large tree, causing them to tumble to the ground. After a brief moment, Hibaro regains consciousness, managing to gather himself despite the exhaustion from his escape. He then searches for a spot along the river where he can rest for the night. Night gradually descends, and Hibaro settles in that location, eventually succumbing to sleep. Just as he begins to doze off, the witch emerges from the water. Longing to observe him up close and having developed a desire for him, she joins him in slumber. However, Hibaro remains oblivious in his sleep, unaware of her presence. After a while, Hibaro suddenly awakens, his eyes opening, and he finds himself gazing upon the witch and her adorned body. Witnessing this, the witch also wakes up and hastily flees from the scene. Hibaro attempts to capture her but ends up with a handful of golden coins. Realizing that the witch's body is adorned with precious jewelry, Hibaro is astonished and overcome by profound curiosity, igniting his desire to possess her. Now, Hibaro embarks on a pursuit of the witch who gracefully running on the water's surface. Both of them gaze intently at each other. Subsequently, Hibaro unsheathes his sword and places it on the ground, watching the witch with affection. 
The Enchantress also observes Hibaro with keen interest, and they both move closer to each other. Upon witnessing the scene, the witch assumes that Hibaro has developed affection for her and rejoices by dancing. She approaches him eagerly, interpreting his gestures as a reciprocation of love. However, Hibaro's intentions are far from romantic, he is solely interested in acquiring the witch's jewelry. As they draw closer, attempting to kiss, Hibaro's lips are cut by the sharp diamonds adorning the witch's lips. Nevertheless, the witch cannot contain her desire and they engage in a passionate encounter. Motivated by his greed for the jewelry, Hibaro intentionally inflicts wounds upon himself. Subsequently, he pushes the witch to the shore, rendering her unconscious. Hibaro meticulously removes each piece of gold and precious gem attached to the witch's body, which caused her injuries. After discarding all the gold and silver, Hibaro throws the witch back into the water. Consequently, her body drifts downstream, causing blood to spread. On the other hand, Hibaro collects all the jewelry in a cloth and seeks an exit. Meanwhile, the witch's body suddenly descends into the depths of the pond, leaving traces of blood scattered around. Hibaro, no longer interested in the witch, focuses on finding a way to depart from the area. However, the weight of the treasure burdens him, causing great distress. Exhausted and overcome by intense thirst, Hibaro's attention is drawn to a nearby river. He approaches the shore to drink water, but unbeknownst to him, the witch's blood has mingled with it. Hibaro consumes the blood-infused water, resulting in a rapid deterioration of his condition. He experiences unusual sensations in his mind and begins hearing peculiar sounds, as the witch's blood miraculously heals his ears. Overwhelmed by this sudden auditory experience, Hibaro's behavior becomes erratic, resembling that of a madman, as he had never heard any sound before. After a while, he finds a spot to sit down, gradually calming himself amidst the aftermath. As Hibaro prepares to leave the location, the witch emerges from the water. Upon witnessing the condition of her own body, she experiences profound sadness, realizing that Hibaro's affection was not for her but for the precious jewels and gems she adorning. Her gaze fixates on Hibaro, and she calls out to him. Surprisingly, Hibaro hears her voice this time and finds himself drawn towards her beckoning. The witch's magic now influences Hibaro as well, depriving him of control and rendering him incapable of resistance. He steps into the water, relinquishing his own will. Ensnared by the witch's voice, Hibaro succumbs to a maddening desire to possess her. Despite his will, he is unable to restrain himself. The witch guides him further into the water, submerging him and drowning him in her captivating spell. Hibaro falls prey to his own greed. Meanwhile, the witch experiences deep sorrow due to the circumstances. The person she had cherished for the first time has now become her victim. However, Hibaro has stripped her of all her beauty. With the witch's sorrow, the movie concludes. If you enjoyed the explanation, please consider subscribing to the channel and activating the notification bell for more content.